How was an old, desolate castle turned into the world's greatest contemporary art centre, Gallery Capasa? It was awful. Nobody lived there. It was two years and a half to open the gallery in the place. On the ceremony of its 40th anniversary, the gallery was handed over to Laura by her father, Gerard Capasa. What kind of a mission will she undertake? We just have to say no, because if not, we won't do our galleries in a good way. I am uh, very proud. How do Sophie and Laura Capasa show their tacit understanding and trust for each other during their trip to Shanghai? On this week's Talk to Lay, we will pay an exclusive visit to the Capasa family, Legends of the Art World. Gallery Capasa is regarded as a prominent center for contemporary art in France, covering the creative gamut, including painting, sculpting, silverwork, ceramics, glass, engraving, and photography. As the founder of this gallery, Gerard Capasa has an amazing discernment for art. He is considered the backbone of contemporary French art, and meanwhile gathers well-renowned artists from the world such as French goldsmith Gucci, painter Lydia Arix, and others. For the artworks of Georges Jean Croix, one of the most important French sculptors of the 20th century, Gerard has a collection even greater than other French contemporary art museums. Recently, as part of the global celebration of Gallery Capasa's 40th anniversary, the Capasa family decided to hold their first exhibition in China. Well, this is quite um, um, a nice time here because we have Sophia, very first time in Shanghai, right? <laughs> uh, the second time, second but time. Uh, only one week uh, with uh, uh, travel with uh, a group, uh, friends to, to, to Shanghai. Ah, I see. So this yes. time is different, it ten, right? Uh, yes, it was 10 years ago. Oh, 10 years ago. Wow, it's, it's a pretty long time. But Laura, you've been in Shanghai for quite some time. Yeah, several times, that's true. And um, I even stayed um, four months in an internship eight years ago uh, in uh, Loretta Young's and uh, Chunky's uh, universe. Uh -huh. So that was a great experience for me. Right, so um, this time anything different? Because this time you have kind of a mission to, to bring out to the um, Chinese audience. Yeah, of course, uh, it's very different for us and we are very pleased to be here to uh, show the work of one of our very loved artists, Christine Fabre. And uh, she also works specially for this exhibition because, as you know, the Yuli China Museum is yeah. normally specialized in glass works. Mm -hmm. So um, this time uh, we exhibit two uh, pieces, one triptych, which is clay, glass and bronze. Ah, so clay, glass and... Uh, and bronze, and yeah. bronze. And another piece, uh, I like really much the symbol of this one. It's the glass and the clay mixed together like mm -hmm. a bond, you know, so... Mm -hmm. Do you think all the messages delivered uh, from the products can be understood by Chinese people? Uh, for me, all the artworks uh, are international. Uh, then you can see it through your eyes, through your culture, through, through your personal feelings. Uh, 
so of course there is an interpretation according to your culture but um, I think it's what is interesting as well you know and what was important also is that uh, Chang Yi as the curator and uh, Leroy Tayang they received this work and they felt mm -hmm. it very deeply that was very interesting for us to see their interpretation of these pieces and uh, so that's why we are very glad to have this exhibition here. In the exhibition From Visible to Invisible, held jointly by Gallery Capasa and the Liuli China Museum, the noted European ceramist Christiane Fabry will show us some classic works from five of her series. In fact, Loretta Young began her collaboration with the Capazzo family back in 2004. That year, she became the first Chinese Liuli artist to hold an exhibition at Gallery Capazzo. She and her husband Zhang Yi's first artwork is even on permanent display. So how did the two families' deep relationship start? When and where did you meet uh, Loretta Young? Um, it was uh, after they organized the museum and then they invite uh, different artists from everywhere of the world and the French artist Antoine Le Perlier was coming. We exhibit uh, him the first personal exhibition in 83 and so we are very close together. And when uh, Loretta Young and Chang Yi want, want to exhibit in Paris, Antoine Le Perlier said, oh, I know another place. Uh, you can have a look and uh, after you decide. So we received in Nancy, Loretta Young and Chang Yi, and uh, we discussed. After, uh, Chang Yi said, I will think about, and he goes through the, the grass, and at the end, he turned over and said, we are married. <laughs> have you got to know them? Have you had an idea that Loretta used to be one of the most famous and outstanding actresses in Taiwan area? Uh, we know the information, but it's not uh, like that. Uh, for us, it was her glass uh, uh -huh. work. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, we are happy to know that, but uh, it not, does not uh, go through our decision. And we really love also the peaceful feeling that you can share when you look at this kind of pieces, you know. The Buddhas, the transparency, the quality of the pieces as well, which is really important, you know. When you see this work, uh, you feel that it's a great challenge. We know how difficult it is to work with glass. Mm -hmm. And uh, her work is uh, really amazing. Desolate for 400 years, the old castle was turned into the world's greatest contemporary art centre. There was no windows, no doors. It was awful. Nobody lived there. Stay tuned with Talk to Lay. In spring, the rain sings. In summer, the sea springs. In autumn, I meet my dear friends. In winter, we talk heart to heart, sharing drips of memory, those surprises, those touching moments. An art critic once said, the 40 years of Capaza is a great era for French contemporary art. From Garnier de Valadère to Petit Glenier de Nancy, the founders of Galerie Capaza, Gerard and Sophie have never changed their dream of building a family of artists. 40 years ago, the couple purchased a castle built in the 17th century they spent nearly three years reconstructing it, stone by stone, to create a comparatively simple and pure art planet. It was their perseverance for this dream that provides Gallery Capasa with its glory today. 
this legend of struggle has become a much told tale among the Europeans. As to the gallery, well, Capaza has a long story and many That's interesting stories. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sophia, when did you meet Mr. Capaza? Uh, for me, um, I always said it was at the beginning and the train was uh, at the station. <laughs> uh, it was just after one year of the story. And uh, my uh, old, elder sister uh, made some jewels and uh, like, this one. like this one, like this one. And uh, she was the first artist to say to Gérard, I can give you some pieces and you show them. And uh, I met Gérard, it was in uh, February 76. But when I met him, we sell is not sufficient. And uh, so he decided to stop. But we met uh, a lawyer said, oh, what are you doing in very interesting? Uh, you, you have to, to move and uh, from this village come to another one, that is Nancy. And uh, she helped us to have money from the bank to buy a little house in Nancy. Nice. And it was not exactly it, the place now. Uh, Sophia, did you still remember the first look at the castle, very first time? Sure. There was no windows, no doors, uh, the roof was very different, um, it was awful. Nobody lived there and uh, we have everything to do. Actually, like, like the, the place where we are now was almost a ruin. Oh, I see. So they had to rebuild uh, it for three years, but um, we owned this place for 100 years. In France, you can call it English property, you know, so it's uh, so it was a great challenge for them, actually, yeah. because um, they just started this activity in the small house they bought in the village. And uh, by this time, they had no economy at all, you know, so this is why it was a challenge, because they thought of it for almost six months, you know, to, they didn't know what to do actually with this opportunity. After six months, they had to take a decision, right? And you can six tell months me. to make yeah. the decision. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And uh, we had a uh, last visit, and we had to give the answer the day after. And then Shera turns to me. I, I can make a movie for this moment in, in color, because uh, he said uh, we have to, to say no. And uh, I make, I have the flash and said, oh, perhaps every, all our life we, we, we said, oh, we had to do. So, yes, we said yes and we share together. Ah, it see. was in one minute. It's just <laughs> one minute to make the yes. final decision. Yes. Uh, but um, how was the business? It's growing up step by step. Mm -hmm. But uh, some artists we exhibit soon at this place and also today. Uh -huh. So we, we have uh, uh, now 85 artists, permanent artists, but some ones we exhibit at, from the beginning. Right. But still, do you still remember the most difficult times when you and your husband worked together to build up everything for the gallery? Oh yes, I, I can I remember build. some. some. <laughs> and. Um, for example, uh, they cut uh, electricity because at the beginning we had not paid. So. Every year they didn't know at the end of the year if they could continue or, 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 or if they had to stop, you know, like for maybe the 21st years. <laughs> yeah, it's not difficult when we began with nothing, it can always be better tomorrow. As Gallery Capasa reached its 10th anniversary in 1986, Laura Capasa was born. She was grown up in a strong artistic atmosphere and is very familiar with galleries, artists and their artworks. Gerard and Sophie's love for art has left an unconscious influence on Laura. But when, when did you start to take a touch of art? Do you have any other dreams think, besides of I should say maybe when I was born <laughs> <laughs> okay 
because uh, the gallery by this time already existed as it is now. Um, I was born in 1986, so like yeah. almost 10 years after the beginning, so it was most comfortable by this time. And uh, all my universe was already the gallery, the artworks, the artists from the very beginning. and. I can thank also my parents because I've never been put apart from this, you know. I was just a little kid in the middle. <laughs> and so yes, I right. think that was important for me. So when Laura was a little girl, um, how would you balance working and uh, taking care of her? We share everything. We travel and, uh, in the winter. It's uh, the time when the gallery was closed, so we travel a lot. Uh, Have you ever sort of doing something else during your study. What, what was your dream? I, of course, I left uh, the place for my studies. I left for like seven years. Seven, so, seven years? Uh, yeah. And uh, during this time, uh, I met mm, my husband-to-be, Denis. For me, this encounter would decide me to come back because my husband, who was uh, in the artistic um, also world, mostly for music at the beginning, mm -hmm. and but he found in love also with the story, and he said, "Okay, if you want, we can go together and try to do something out mm -hmm. of it." So, when I started working at the gallery, uh, I didn't realize it, but now I'm starting to realize with so many person telling us how this story is important in their life. I didn't even believe it, you know. It's just, they love this place. They love the feeling where you are. It's a kind of universe itself, you know. We try to make it peaceful. From a daughter to the successor of the gallery, what challenges will Laura confront? We had to learn also to work together. It's not so easy. I am uh, very proud from Stay tuned with Talk to Lay. On the celebration of Gallery Capasso's 40th anniversary in 2015, Laura took over the gallery from her father in front of 1,500 people. She and her husband, Denise, will open a new chapter and develop projects in different forms and new standards. Her visit to Asia is also a big project, which Laura has led herself since she assumed duty. Here you go, that you went back and uh, so have you feel stressed and pressured yeah i think it's we often talk of this together because of course uh, my start is not the same as their start you know she has so a more challenge they started from nothing so they had no fear to lose right you know right uh, so they just had energy to keep on going and to make it better uh, when you start from something existing with already an aura, with already um, many people considering that it is important even in their life. Of course, uh, I knew the place, I knew the artist, I knew the collectors, but still it's different when you just live in the place and when you work in the place, you know, because mm -hmm. Um, I didn't realize when I was young what was the, the point of working every day with many work to do. And um, I think the first year or maybe the two first years has been quite difficult because um, we had to learn also to work together. It's not mm. so easy, you know, because they are their own way to do. Right. And mm -hmm. Uh, when you arrive, you just learn how to do, but you also have some ideas you would like to improve. Mm -hmm. or, uh, so we had to organize also 
our family business, you know. So that was maybe the most difficult point, I think. <laughs> but as a mother, how would you think of your daughter? Um, I am uh, very proud from her because, <laughs> um, especially at this time, this week, for me is very important. It's a real uh, transmission time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> you must be so proud. <laughs> you will convince your mom and dad, or they convince you, eventually. Sometimes it's it's both. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> I think we have a great capacity of exchanging our point of view. So. Uh, this is the most important, like everyone can say what he thinks and what he would like to do. Mm -hmm. After, it can be discussed. On the art planets of Capaza family, talented artists from all over the world gather together with a strong desire to create, communicate and express. Although not all of them are rich, they still flock to this area of 2,000 square meters. They are not restrained by membership and they receive respects, instead, from the Capazzo family. Up till now, the gallery has already hosted 85 permanent artists, but Laura and her husband, Dennis, still uphold the Capazzo spirit deep in their hearts. I understand that many galleries has the criteria. So to your gallery, you still, you and your husband, Dennis, still keep on a very high demanding for entering this gallery. About the artist, yes. Um, we receive um, nowadays about 1,000 demands a 1, year. 1,000? Every year. Uh -huh. So, of course, it's, uh, it's difficult. It's too much. <laughs> we cannot open on doors anymore, so... And what is quite special also to our gallery is that fidelity principle that we have is that when we say yes to an artist, uh, we never, it never ends, you know. So uh, like she said, when we meet with the Loretta and Changi, we are married. No, it's a bit like this with all the artists of the gallery. So now we have 85 permanent artists. It's very difficult. We should really have like a, a very deep, deep shock uh, to say, okay, this one we just cannot say no, we have to say yes, you know, okay. but if not, we receive many uh, works, quality works, but we just have to say no, because if not, we won't do our gallerist's uh, work in a good way, you know, because it's not our point to say, okay, you we just do one exhibition for three months and after we change and we never we will never hear of you again, you know. No, it's it's not the way we like to work. Right. But if I am a collector, I would like to go to your gallery. Oh, yeah, How yeah, should yeah. I be qualified as um, getting the entrance permit? Uh, yeah, what is also very important and uh, I think it's uh, also because of your beginning is that everyone can Welcome. enter the gallery, mm -hmm. even if you are not a collector, if you, even if you are just curious to see art. People can come in and visit like they visit a castle. Ah, Even if they never buy, it's not mm -hmm. a problem. We, we, we are happy to share with them. And, uh, yeah, it's really important for us that this gallery is open really to everyone, from the most simple person mm -hmm. than from the most important collector. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not make any difference. Uh, when you look back, what has been the most pleasant, exciting moment to all of you as starting this art gallery? I have like a firework in my mind yeah. because we share so, so, so much. Of course, we had great moments in the gallery story as well. Don't we also us. once uh, exhibited the work of Henri Cartier-Bresson, mm -hmm. you might know, and his mm -hmm. wife, Martine Franck, mm -hmm. very famous photographers, and uh, they were also collectors of the gallery. Sometimes we, we think, 
uh, it's kind of magical. Of course, then you have the daily life <laughs> and uh, you have to work a lot, you know, right. but uh, still when you see the result, it's wonderful. 40 years of passion, rigor, utopia, and risks. The Capasa family has constructed a fairy tale habitat for the world. A space where art becomes pure and simple. Perhaps it was just as one book said it is the time you spend on your rose that makes your rose so important. Following installations and Zhang Yunyao's unique felt paintings, his new solo exhibition, After Even Song, will display his recent oil paintings. Most of their images come from the internet and the Mediterranean mythology. These paintings in various sizes bring out very different emotions from his previous times. For more information, please follow our WeChat account. <laughs>